Hey everybody, it's Lee with the Turquoise Valentine and it's Monday night, so we are going to craft something tonight. Um, so I hope you can hop on with me. If not, if you're watching replay, just do hashtag replay so I know you were here and thank you for watching. Um, so we're gonna get into it in just a minute. Um, there's my friends hopping on. Yay, 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 yay. Hey everybody. Welcome, welcome to my page. Hey, Laurie. Hey, Shaney. Hey, everybody. I'm trying to make sure I have everything. I'm kind of like looking around going, do I have it all? Do I have everything? Do I have it all? <laughs> hey, Nancy and Wendy. It's so good that y'all are all here. Yay! Shirley Case wants to join my video. Shirley, let me put you on video. <laughs> She'd be like, no. <laughs> hey, Miss Glenda and Judy and Tiffany. Hey, friends. There's Lori. Lori, I hope you're next doing well. Hey, Pam. I'm good. I'm good. It's Monday. It's been a crazy Monday today. Hey, Aline. Diane. All my friends. Okay, so let's see. I have that and that. I'm just making sure I have everything because I feel like I'm forgetting something. Hey, Linda. Hey, Marianne. Oh, yeah, this shirt is from Beware. We're doing a Christmas craft, <laughs> and I've got on a summer lemon shirt. Um, hey, Judy. Hey, Carla. Hot, hot springs. Yeah, it's hot, hot here, too. Hey, Kimberly. Hey, Rosa. Hey, Jerry. Y'all, look, look at my cute cup. I had to get him out of the cabinet. Is he not the most adorable thing you've ever seen? Of course, Dana Merritt made this for me um last year but isn't he adorable so i had to get him out for christmas hey ann hey Lori, mary ann oh facebook's been crazy today so we'll see i hope not i hope it doesn't do that do crazy stuff hey terry debbie i'm good hey pam um so tonight we're gonna do um a christmas craft i mean it can be every day if you just want it to be. It doesn't have to be Christmas. So, you know, like I told y'all, I wasn't breaking out all the glitter and the, you know, and snow and the whole things. Um, hey, Cheryl. Are you new? Welcome, welcome, Cheryl. Welcome. Welcome to my page. I am Kathy. I hope you're having a good day, too. Hey, Marcia. Hey, Sherry. It's hot here. It's hot here. Oh, Irene, this is your first time catching me live. Well, awesome. I'm glad you're here. And glad you could hop on and spend some time with me and all these wonderful people. Is your hubby at the site of Christmas? At the... Carrie, what do you mean? Is, is your hubby at the site of Christmas? <laughs> hey, Tina. Hey, Holly. And Jenny. And thank you for all of the birthday wishes for Colin. His birthday's tomorrow. He'll be 25. I just can't even believe it. And then uh, Chase got his truck. And so uh, my kids are growing up, y'all. And I, I, I admit it. I sat on the couch or laid on the couch Sunday night. And I had me a little good cry for this mama here because my kids are, they're growing up. I mean, I got one that's married on his own, you know, has his own little thing going on. And then I got one that's 16 and driving. And I'm like, what happened? Where did the time go? <laughs> so I had me a good little, good little cry mama moment for myself. 116 mailing, oh my goodness. It is hot, isn't that cute? So I had to get it out of the cabinet. So, with my, cause it's Christmas. <laughs> okay, so uh, so you may have seen this done before. Um, I did these a long time ago, okay? So I'm pulling it way on back. Uh, yes, this is something that Deidre and I have done. Um, so anytime I do, I do crafts that she and I did, they're real near and dear to my heart. Um, like I said, she and I, I think we tried everything, <laughs> everything there was. Hey, Dana, oh, your birthday's tomorrow too. Awesome. Hey, Sherry, you're new. Welcome, Sherry. Welcome. Um, so anyway, so, so I hold those crafts near and dear to my heart. Um, so I hope that y'all enjoy what we're going to do. I think it's pretty neat. You may have seen it done before, but I don't know. So we're going to do it. Because some people, somebody out there probably hasn't seen it done and wants to know how to do it. It's super easy, okay? So this, let me kind of put it together because I haven't glued it together yet. Because I hadn't fully decided this is what I'm going to do. But this is what I'm going to show you how to make. 
is this tree. And we're gonna make different size trees, okay? So see, it's not glued on the little candlestick yet. But this is so super simple. And you could do this so many different ways. So this is how you do it. Let me find the book that, um, I'm gonna make that big one again, cause that was the one that I practiced on. Cause I hadn't done it in, in a long time. Brenda, I, I'm, I'm starting to feel it and I really didn't think that I was going to. And I'm just, I got all beside myself Sunday thinking about my kids um, not being here. Okay, you're gonna need just a paperback book. I have several from, um, uh, just the thrift store that were like a quarter a piece or something like that. Y'all know I use book pages a lot and we've kind of been, um, exactly Gina. Um, we've been kind of, we've done a few things with book pages lately. So I'm going to do that. So what you're going to do for this tree, it's so easy. I'm going to show y'all how, okay. But I'm going to make a couple of different sizes. Okay. So you're going to count out Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're gonna count out 30 pages, okay? Uh, I've already, this one's been used. I've already used some of it. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so now I'm going to so anybody that's gonna get on to me about dismantling books, but I'm not totally just throwing them in the trash. I'm reusing them into something else. Um, oh, I know, Cheryl, I just, you know, and Craig's like, oh, it's okay. And I'm like, no, I'm over here just pouring tears. And cause I, I told Colin, I said, you know, everything you've accomplished, I just, it just blows me away. Um, Oh, so some y'all, some of y'all have already done this. Welcome, Nikki. It looks like Nikki's new. Okay, so I have thirty. Okay, and this is just the regular full size of the book that I'm using, and that's what this one is. But I am going to show you how to make them smaller. Um, what size is the book? Let's see. Debbie said, "What size is the book?" It is roughly a little over six and a half tall by four, okay? So I'm sure most of these books are kind of the same size, but we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to do it and make it smaller. Hey, Linda, happy Monday. Okay, so what you're gonna do first, you're gonna leave them all on the little spine. They're all connected together. Um, and then you're gonna take the top corner and you're gonna fold it down. I'm gonna hold it up so y'all can see. I know the comments kind of get in the way. So you're gonna fold that top corner down like this. So you're gonna fold it over to the spine right here, okay? Now, the next time you do it, you grab the same page and you're going to pull it down like this. So it was like this, so you folded it down and then you're gonna turn it and fold it again to where this side piece lines up. And you wanna crease it good, okay? So this piece lines up with the, where the spine is, okay? Hey, Corby. Okay, so you folded it down. Like, it was like this, so you fold it down and then you're gonna fold it like this, okay? So then you, you're gonna crease it all the way up and all the way down. I mean, there was a live done on that church a couple of weeks ago, um, but we're gonna fold and we're gonna chat. And I promise you, it, <laughs> Kathy's got it, it's bad. Um, it's, it doesn't take near as long as you think it does, but you just sit here and you wanna make sure your little points up here, they'll kinda wanna get caught on each other. Um, Oh, you had a week of emotions like that, Denise? Bless your heart. It just kind of comes and goes when I just sit and think, you know, that they they were just little not too long ago when we were watching movies on TV and coloring and doing all the fun things and pull toys and all that stuff. It just, uh, it's just crazy how things change and things um, go. 
So like I said, you're just gonna fold it down, take the corner, and you're gonna fold it, bring that corner into the spine. So you have like a triangle like that. And then you're gonna take that piece and then fold it again toward the spine and make a little, another triangle like this. So you're just gonna continue doing that until you just keep on a going. Oh, you made them with the Christmas wish book from Sears. That was the best, wasn't it? When we had the catalogs. Oh my gosh, they were wonderful. Hey, Lori. Um, so you can just sit here and watch TV, whatever you want to do, and fold your um, fold your pages. There's Hildy with Hildy's um, crafting at Hildy's farmhouse. Hey, Hildy. Okay, so you just showed me that she hopped on. Hey, Lisa, you don't follow a Hildy, you need to go to her page. She is a sweet friend who makes lots of stuff. Um, how many pages do you need? You need 30, okay? So you need 30 for the front piece and then you need 30 for the back, okay? Um, you used to make one when you were a teenager, Belinda. So I, you know, I know people have, may have seen this before, but then when I think there's something that y'all have seen before or something like that, and then I do it anyway, y'all are like, oh, I've never seen this before. Hey, Jill. So that's why I decided to do it. Mary, we are making, well, I haven't got it glued on here yet, but it's going to be a tree like this, but I'm going to make different sizes, okay? Um, it's just a book tree, like a book page tree. Oh, goodness. That sounds terrible, Corby. Oh, that hurts. Reader's Digest, yes. I just like the book pages because I am going to color, not color, I'm going to paint the edges, and you can paint on whatever color. Oh, Kathy, you did Reader's Digest. So you're folding the page down, right, even with the little crack or the spine there, and then you're going to grab it and fold it in again to get that shape. Very easy, and you just keep going. So I'm just, it's just really easy just to sit here and fold these pages. Oh, Deborah said it's new to her. She's never seen it done. Um, your grandma used to make them. It's just so neat. I just think it's neat. Anne's never seen it before. But you gotta be careful up here. All of these, see how they wanna kinda if you don't crease them all the way up, they'll kind of want to get weird looking at the top. So that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to, um, <clears throat> you know, when you crease it all the way up, make sure you get it creased good. But you got this bulk, so it's kind of hard sometimes. So I'm just folding. Like I said, once you get your, your rhythm going and you can sit here and do this really, really fast, Sometimes you just need to let the sad tears. That's right, B. I believe that too. Sometimes I just gotta let it out and, you know, realize that my kids are uh, are growing up and just have a good cry and then you get on with it. You know it. But I'm. I, it's a cry like I'm proud cry kind of thing. You know, I just when you sit and look at back how blessed we all are. Oh, Barb said she did it in first grade. How cool. Um. When you think about how blessed we are, and I just, it just all just comes over me. I just can't help it. Um, and I know probably a lot of y'all are the same way. Because, you know, as mamas, for a year, you know, for until they're grown, you, well, you still worry about them until they're after they're grown too. But, you know, your whole life gets turned over to everything is about them. And um, for the most part. And then, uh, you know, you start thinking about they don't need you as much. They're not going to need you as much and all that. And it's just like, wow. I mean, what do I do now? I don't know. <laughs> um, you know, I had Colin when I was 25. So I don't know what I was doing before that. <laughs> um, thank you, Andrea. Oh, somebody made them in Girl Scouts. Sherry did. Hey, Rita. Howdy, howdy. So see, I'm almost done with these 30 pages. It goes by really, really fast. Um, wait till, I know, Nancy, I know that's probably in the cards for me soon. I'm not sure when, but, um, everybody says there's nothing like grandkids. Hey, Judy. 
Judy's not seen it. Oldest turned 54 and 50. Wow, Kathy. That's the blessed of getting to see your kids grow up um, to be that, you know, to be that age. Okay, so, so there's the 30, okay? And I have something else after I did the half that I want to do with it. But see how we have, you got all these little points that are hanging over. I cut mine off, but we're going to do that in a minute because we've got to do 30 more while we're chatting. Two, three, four. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Somebody said they had twin grandchildren. Okay, so you just kind of take it and, you know, leave them, try to leave them together. Hopefully it'll tear just right. But pull it away from the rest of the book like this, and then you're gonna have all this paper and stuff. 11th grandchild, Debbie, wow. Okay, so there again, if you miss me folding it the first time, so you fold it down like this. Okay. And then you're gonna fold it again, see so if I can get it to go right, while holding it with one hand and all of this stuff. So you're gonna fold it over like this. So that's all I'm doing on all of these pages. <laughs> Somehow you think you're gonna learn something new tonight. Well, I hope so. How many pages to make a tree? You wanna do like this was 30 and this is half of my tree and then I'm doing 30 more. So you need 60 altogether. So one pocketbook, you're gonna have, you can get a, maybe two or three trees out of it, okay? So um, for a you know, 25 cent book that I bought at a thrift store to use for my crafting. Um, I'm gonna get some trees, several trees out of it. I'm gonna have to get, get me some more books though, y'all, because I've used a lot of books here lately. But I also have a, a good dictionary that I got at an estate sale, and I would love to do it with a dictionary, but it's hardback, and so I don't really know how it would work. So you fold it down and then you fold it again. And you can do this, like I said, while you're sitting watching television. Um, whatever, you can just sit and do this and fold and fold and fold and fold. And before you know it, oh, Barb's and found her book. She's already gonna work on hers. Oh, old hymnals. Now that would be really, really cool. I do have an old hymnal. Um, I use it for some crafts. I don't, um, but it's hardback, so I don't know how that would work, unless you had like a, I don't know. I guess you could take the, the binding off. I'm not sure. I've never tried to, um, oh, somebody said crease them and tuck them up in there. Okay, well, I didn't know to do that because I just did it this way, and then if I wanted them not to hang off, I would cut. One book with 60 pages instead of two sections. You could if you could find a book with 60 pages or you could, you know, do 60. This is just the way I was taught to do it many, 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 many long time ago. And um, <laughs> Joe, it is like making paper airplanes. So this is how I do it. But yeah, you could do 60 or try it anyway and just see and then glue the front to the back you know, where you start and where you finish to the back, um, you could do that. But it goes pretty quickly once you get eight kids and nine grandbabies. Ooh, Jody, got a bunch, a bunch of folks. Hey, Maria. Um, Diana, I, you can get an old hymnal. Maybe sometimes you'll find them at Goodwill or a thrift shop. Um, you know a church maybe that's just replaced all their hymnals or something like that. Um, hey, Tina. You used to do it with Reader's Digest with your grandma. <laughs> I mean, I learned a long time ago. I don't even know who taught me how. I can't remember. But Deidre and I have done these long, long, long time ago. And like I said, <laughs> we would sit and laugh and talk and fold books and make our little, our little rustic trees. Okay, you made one last year, Lori said. 
All right, I'm almost to the end. And then we're... Oh, there's an angel pattern. That would be really cool. I could see how you could probably make this into an angel. Hey, Elsie. See, I can fold and talk to y'all. Do I color? I am. Bet Bettina, I am. I'm going to do the edges. I did this one green. Because I was playing around today thinking, okay, can I still do this? <laughs> do I remember how to do it? Um, like I said, I've been, um, who's doing mad faces? Just get glad, okay? It's a whole lot easier if you just get glad. It's too much to be mad about. We have nothing to be mad about here, though. <laughs> um, yes, I am folding pages, but it's part of the process. Um, but, yeah, well, I, once I got started, I was like, oh, it's all coming back to me now. I, I got this. I could do it. Now, my tip is that one's going to mess up my... So every once in a while, you may have to come in there and just kind of mash all the tips together. Oh, bless your heart, Cheryl. I'm so sorry. Okay, so just folding and folding and folding. One more. Then we're going to be through with this tree. But see how fast it went? I've only been on for about 20 minutes or so. Okay. But I talked a bunch at the beginning. All right, so there's the next 30, and then here's the other 30. But I, I don't, I mean, maybe you could do 60, but you know, you could see. Okay. All right, so now I'm gonna, you can leave it like this if you wanted to with the little points hanging down, but I'm gonna cut it off, okay? Um. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna put my scissors down here on this part, and then all I'm gonna do is just go straight up with them. And they're thin, so it's not hard to cut. So now I'll have it straight across. But if you wanna leave those, you can. Um, same thing on this one. I'm just gonna cut straight across. So see? Looks really cool, doesn't it? Good door stops. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my trusty. Hey, Diane. This is so easy, y'all. <laughs> it's just crazy. So you're gonna take your glue gun and you're just basically gonna run some glue down this page here. And then you're just going to match it up with your other book. And it, it dries pretty quick, so you gotta hurry. Like, I just didn't do it fast enough just then, but anyway, it's gonna be okay. Oh, Patsy, you're so sweet. <laughs> okay, so mine wasn't quite even, but it's okay. Now I got glue that oozed out on my other pages, so I gotta do a quick little fix here and get this glue off here so they're not all stuck together. All right, that one's loose, that one's loose, and that one's loose. Okay, so I didn't quite get them even. I mean, you can tell if you look this way, but looking this way, you really can't tell. So now I got to glue them this way, like this. So I'm gonna put, pull these two together like that. Oh, hey, Tanya. Hey, Melanie. All right, hold on. Let me get this like I want it, because then I'm gonna close it shut, pretty much. I'm gonna put some down the middle of the spine as well. That just kind of helps. And as long as I get these two about right, it'll be okay. All right. And don't worry about being exactly perfect, because mine are not. As you can see, I didn't even line them up perfect, so it's totally fine. Now I just have to do the little, the fluffle, make sure all this is going good. And here is my tree. So there's our tree. Ta-da! Easy peasy, right? And that one's, this one's not wanting to, for some reason, I don't know if it has to do with the spine in there or what. Stay in there. Now, okay, 
Look how cool it is. All right. Yeah, the, the mad face is in a bad spot. I agree, because I have an iPad too, and it's down there at the bottom, and I agree. All right, so what I did next, because this one is green. So see, I got all the pages, the edges green. So all I did is just real scientific. <laughs> I'm gonna get a little piece of this Dollar Tree foam thing, because you know, the cosmetic wedges, you can't hardly find those anymore. I'm just gonna get off a piece of that. Or maybe I'll use that little end. That looks perfect. Okay. This will go a long ways if you that's what you use it for. Um, and I'm going to get my little plate. And I think I used, I hope I used Crocodile. I think that's what I used. This is Crocodile from Folk Art. You could definitely use whatever color you wanted. But now I'm kind of thinking I want to do, let's do, let's do red since I've already done the green. So let's do red. This is just true red. So just find a Christmas red whatever color you want, and I'm gonna put just a little bit. It's kind of bright, y'all. Hold on, let me get a darker red, because ah, that's kind of dark for me. It's country red, cherry red. All right, let's do this cherry red, because that true red is really bright. Okay, so that's bright, so I'm not gonna do it. So let's get this red out here. Okay, this is cherry red. So see the difference? This is a lot darker, and that's what I want. Oh, my Pamela, my paints are right there. <laughs> like, I can almost reach. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna put, I put water in these little bottles, and that just keeps me from having to use my paint brushes to dip water with. So, oh no, somebody lost um, their son. I'm so sorry. Okay, so I'm just mixing up my stain. Hey, Charisse. And I'm just mixing up my water and my paint. This chair, I, got, I don't remember about this chair making this noise until I come live. And then I'm like, why didn't I tell my husband um, to fix this chair? Okay, yes, spray painting would be cool as well, but I want the book pages to still show and I just want the edges to be done. So I'm just gonna dip my little sponge sponge and kind of tap it off a little bit to where I just have my edges. And then I'm just going to basically go down my tree, go down the edges of the book. And you could definitely do this part before you um, glue them together. It doesn't matter what part you do when you do it. This looks really bright, so I'm glad I didn't do the other red. 104 in Oklahoma, Vicky. goodness gracious alive. Okay, it's hot. It's just too early to be this hot. So, so see how this is looking? You just, you're just getting that little hint of red. It's not gonna be like the whole thing would be red. But yeah, this, this is kind of bright. I'm glad I did use this darker color. Hey, Word and Home. How are you doing? Okay. Let's see. So... I think it's Angela with Word and Home, I think. That's, I can't remember, I just, I just had a brain loss. So I'm just going back over some because they kind of want to look a little pink if I didn't get a lot on there. But look how pretty this looks. See, this piece right here is bothering me. I don't know why it's wanting to look that. We'll put that in the back. But see, look how cool this looks. And see, here's my green. So you could do these any color. if whatever color you wanted to do them, um, you could do them any color, okay? Um, but look how adorable this is. So I'm gonna show you how to make a smaller one, but I already have half of it done, so I don't have to do all that folding again. Um, so what I did was, is I pulled off my 30 pages again, just like I did to start with in the very beginning. And I just kinda said, well, let me go a little, hang on, did I, no, this is not the right stack, hold on. That's the smaller, smaller one, okay. So I just said, well, let me see about, let's take off about this much, okay? So here's this, is this the one? Hold on, I got, I'm getting myself confused. Okay, 
So what I did was, I'll show you with this one, is I cut a piece. I cut my piece where I wanted to cut it. Just cut it with scissors. Cause, and just go slow and you can cut them, okay? And then I took this piece and I laid it down on my book and then I just drew a line and then I'll cut that. So it's so easy to cut. Don't worry if it's not totally straight, but you can cut right through those pages. It's just 30 pages. Um, so now we can make a small one. So here's half of my small tree. So see the size? And you could keep getting smaller and smaller. We could try to make one with this. <laughs> um, hold on, let me grab that back. So here's my other piece and you're gonna do Put a paper clip on the lip of the page to stay together. <gasps> Pat, that's a good idea. Oh, you see, y'all, I need y'all just as much as y'all need me. I promise. Um, okay, so you're going to fold it down. Same thing, even though it's half a book. <laughs> um, and then you're going to fold it again like this. So, like that. All right, okay. Oh, so, um, so what color should we do this one? Should we do this the green? And this one, this green is um, Crocodile from Folk Art. It's just a, like an olive, a darker green. But you, like I said, you can do whatever color that you decided you wanted to do your tree. Um, you could do it burnt umber and just kind of go for the rustic look you're gonna fold it down and be sure to crease it good. And then you're just gonna fold it in. It's kind of hard to show you and do it at the same time. Till it looks like that. And like I said, once you sit here and you just get started, you can just go to town doing it. Is that the same book? Yes, it's, um, I don't know. It may not be the same book, but I think it's the same size. Um, pretty much, yes. I just cut it till I, I, I didn't even measure y'all. Y'all know how I am. But yes, you could paint them gold. You could do silver. Um, you could put ribbons at the top. You could put ribbon around it. You could do, there's so much stuff you can do to these. Um, Yes, antique brown, Tony, at the edges to tone it down, tone down the red. I sure could do that. But even just, um, Pamela, yes, I have an idea for that too. Um, I started to even do this, uh, do that tonight instead of the whole tree. And I thought, no, let's do the whole tree. And then we will go, uh, we'll move on with it to something else. Gold, yes, gold. That copper that I have, oh, it would be beautiful. Um, but you could put a sprig of, uh, greenery at the top, which I have some over here. Do it in white. Yes. <laughs> Debbie, I'm on my second book. Well, I've had a little practice today. <laughs> Do this one in the gold or the copper. Okay. Well, I was want, I wanted to make like three, like a set of three to go together. A small dowel in the middle. Yes, you could put, I thought about that because I actually was going to try that today because I wasn't sure that my star was going to stay up there. So I was thinking of putting a, a shish kebab stick in the middle when I glued it together. And then, um, so that would have something to attach to, but it glued just fine to the top. But you could definitely do that. Um, so, and that, I think... Somebody said diamond dust, yes, and I have my diamond dust out. <laughs> I have, have my little shaker full of some, a little bit of diamond dust, so I don't want to pour it out of the big container. Um, turquoise, <laughs> I have it out too. Because you could go whimsical with this, and I thought about, um, I thought about like doing a streak of red and then a streak of turquoise and a streak of red and a streak of, you could stripe the tree. Um, use glitter, do not use glitter. 
green with snow. See, y'all are just going and going and going. You could do that snow text on it, and that would look really cool. There's just so much you can do, and these are just very inexpensive. Um, if you, like me, I have books that I, um, pixie dust, yes, like diamond dust, I guess. Yes, a toothpick would work. There's just lots of things you could do. You could you fold mine the bottom. Fold oh you fold up the bottom instead of cutting it off. I need to know how to do that. <laughs> you dug them out and you're gonna do them right now. I don't blame you. <laughs> Cause like you could just sit here and do this while you watch television or talk on the phone or whatever it is you like to do. Sit outside. Oh Claudia, you're so sweet. Yeah, now y'all know I got my Rudolph cup out. Robin, you can diamond dust it. I'm probably gonna diamond dust my star. Um, that the diamond dust just makes me nervous because it comes off, and you know I could just see me stepping on it. Polka dot tree. Um, old crap with the new twist. That's right. Sometimes you just gotta go throw it on back to the old school and go from where your roots are. Um, I've been crafting since I was a little girl, so there's not a whole lot that I haven't tried as far as crafting goes. Um, BJ, I haven't tried it on fabric flowers, but I bet it would work. Um, but like I have a little book over here that I've had since I was a little girl, probably like second grade, and it has all these craft books in it for kids, and I still have that book. Okay, so here's my 30. And see, this, to me, this part looks different than it did on this tree. And it's just my preference. I'm going to cut it off. Um, ooh, rose gold. That big, pretty Christine, like gold, copper, silver, or rose gold. Oh, yeah. Just fold the bottom piece into the page. So now y'all going to... I can't go as fast if I do that. <laughs> I'm going to cut them off. Yes, Janice, Miss Dana made my mug. Yes. Oh, cork. That sounds good. But yeah, you could do this with different kinds of magazines and papers. Whatever you want to do. All right, so I just cut mine off. I'm, I'm doing it the lazy way. <laughs> I just cut it off. Um, rub, dub, Mandy. Oh, rub and buff. I have my rub and buff out here too. All right, so... I don't have that that edge that I had, so I need to make sure that they're right. So I just go right up next to the spine. Oh, why is this one hard to cut? Okay, here we go. All right, so see, I just cut mine off because I don't like that little, I wanted to all look the same. Oh, you always loved them. You didn't know how to make them. Well, here you go. Now y'all gonna be making trees. Okay, so now I'm gonna glue my pages together, make a tree. Yes, that I will go. I'm gonna go over. I got several different ideas for the trunk. Yeah, the diamond dust. You have to be careful because if you put it, because it does come off. You know, when you mess with whatever it is you put it on, it tends to want to kind of come off, even though you got Mod Podge on there. So I'm real careful with it because it'd be my luck. I'd it I'd step on it. Something, okay. So I'm trying to be careful here. Get my my tree glued together. A few corks glued together. Yes, and I have little um uh. Why in the world does it look like that? I don't know, but something happened. Something happened. But anyway, I'm going on with it. Like, I don't know if maybe I cut from the different book. I'm, trying to, I'm thinking that I did, but I'm just going with it. And I'll just put this to the back because, see, I've got this big step off right here. Like, see? I'm not sure. Maybe I cut it from the wrong book, y'all, because I did half of it today, so I'd have it done. Um, but it'll just go in the back. 
I don't know what I did. <laughs> um, wings out of cardboard and glue them in the pages. Ooh, like coming out of the sides. That would be cool. And like a wood bead for the head. Um, no, rub and buff, you have to get it Hobby Lobby. And it's like $8 for this little bitty tube. But it'll last you for your whole crafting career. <laughs> Amazon too has it. Okay, so see the different, the two different sizes? And I cut off, let's see, this book, I don't think it was the same book. I think I used two books on this one and that's why it's two different sizes. Six and a half by four and this was this one. So then I cut off, yeah, it's a different book because this is another author. So yeah, I think I used, two, but it should be, Close, six and a half by four. I don't know why that happened in the back, but I cut off about one and three fourths inches is what I cut off of the bottom. Um, so now we have these two sizes, two sets of 30. Yes, yeah, so you do two sets of, you count out 30 pages and fold them and then count out another 30, tear it apart, and then you glue the two together, fold them and do it. A pumpkin like that. Oh, cool. That is awesome. Okay. So, here's our tree. Um, and here's this one. And now I've got red. And then somebody said to go over it with some brown. I think I'll do that because I want it to look... Um, it is a little bright on my end. It may not look bright on your end. So, I'm just putting a little water with some just regular old burnt umber paint. And I'm going to fix that because it look it does look bright red. But uh, I think maybe let's do this one silver. You want to do it silver? I'll just lay this over here. I cut, I got my sponge. <laughs> it's going to last me a long time too. Um, and I can wash these out too if I don't let the paint set up in them. Let me get a little bit. And I'm just going to do... Try to knock that down a little bit to where it's not so bright red. Because it kind of wants to look a little pink. <laughs> this is the first one we did. All right. Because since it's watered, it looks a little pinkish. So we're going to fix it. Okay. All right, so see, I just kind of did a little brown and it just not made it not as bright red. Because even though I got a darker red, it still looks bright. Yes, that's what everybody's saying. They're making an angel. So let me grab, let me grab my silver or gold or whichever one I can see first. And I don't know where it is. Where are you? Here's silver. All right, silver, I saw silver first. So let's do silver to see what it looks like. I can get my chair up here. Rub and buff. Charlene, it is a little tube like this. And it makes stuff real shiny. Um, I don't know. It, you can put it on anything and it'll make it look like metal. But this is silver. This is the silver that I like. Um, because... Uh, I just like this silver. Because, you know, there's some paints you like and you don't. This is real watery, though. So, let's cut off my, my red. Cut off the red. And then I'm going to just go, go into the silver. But this is just Michael's Craft Smart. And this is going to be something that y'all probably won't be able to see on camera. But it is pretty. Just a little more chicken out of the small a chicken what Susie simply handmade okay Susie simply handmade said make we could make a chicken out of the I've never seen that done we'll have to we'll have to definitely check that out thank you y'all go check out her page because I will when I get done okay so I'm just going and taking my paint and going down the edges of the book and like I said, you could do different colors and do like stripes or something. And I don't know why that ended up like that, but I'm just going with it. 
it'll just be the back. <laughs> you know, tree always has that back side that you put to the corner or to the wall where nobody sees it. You don't put ornaments on it. <laughs> the bad side, <laughs> that's my bad side of my tree. Okay, so there's the silver. I don't, I don't know if y'all can see it. Might can a little bit, but it does look really pretty. It's subtle, but it's real pretty. chicken. I know, Diane, I'm curious. Now I gotta go find out about this chicken. I might be making chickens Thursday. <laughs> um, okay, so now we have, now these are the same size. Yep, they are. And then I made a smaller one and this one. But to put on the top, these are the little stars that Dollar Tree had last Christmas. They had them in those little uh, little packs and they hung on the little hook thing. Um, you can use those and that's what I used here. I just painted it um, kind of an off-white color and then I just hot glued it on. Um, but you could put anything on it. You could, I thought about, let's see. I thought about putting some, somehow putting some greenery, maybe a next to the star, like across the star, putting a piece of greenery up here. But I don't know how I'll get it on there now, now that I'm sitting here thinking about it. Okay, for stumps, for the stump, for the trunk or whatever we're gonna call it. This is a candlestick I had from Hobby Lobby. I painted it, I stained it brown with burnt umber, wherever it is. I don't know. Oh, burnt umber. Like, you know, y'all, I did it with the baby wipe and I wiped it all off. And then I did that wax with a candle and then I painted over it with white and then wiped off the stuff that the wax wouldn't let it do. Um, Judy, I haven't never tried it that way, but you probably can do 60 instead of 30. I don't know. Um, that's just the way I've always done it. So, um, it just depends on, you know, I don't know. I, I'm going to have to try it that way now that y'all ask. So I think I'm gonna glue this one. I'm gonna have to glue it to get it to stay, but how stinking cute is this? So cute. And they have, hey LaBrisca, there's LaBrisca with My Eclectic Treasures. Y'all go check her out too. She's one of my crafty friends. Um, but how stinking cute is this? And Hobby Lobby I know has these in like three different sizes maybe, or if you find them at Goodwill or the thrift store, and you could make your, get your trees and make three or four or five different ones that are all different. Um, and it would look so cute. Okay, other option would be is Dollar Tree's candle, glass candlesticks. You could paint this white, sand off, make it look rustic, and it would look just as pretty, or you could just leave it glass. That kind of gives it a little, um, a little extra, you know, class or bling to it because it's glass. But thrift store is wonderful. See, I, I have this one is another size, um, like that. And then you would have different size, but you can make different size trees. And then Hobby Lobby has these in, uh, these little packs that hang up. They have them like this. You could do those spools. I mean, still looks just as adorable. Look at this. You could even go so far as to put like a piece of ribbon around here or, or scrapbook paper and do it up like that and make it look cute. Or these. I've had these a long time. Um, they came from Dollar Tree a long time ago, but you could stack two if you wanted to and glue it and make a trunk like this. It's, it's totally, there's so much you can do. If somebody said earlier a cork or anything. So I think, like, let's put the green one on here and get everything out of the way. So my books are not cut exactly even and that's why it's not wanting to sit. But I think I'm just gonna make an addition in the pages Oh, Marlene, that would be beautiful if you like opened it up and put a manger scene. Oh, Marlene. Marlene, Marlene's is gonna look fancy when she shows hers with that manger scene all up in the center. That is really pretty. Like if you had like a Christmas card, 
a front of a Christmas card with a manger sand and you could cut it to fit that and put it up in there. Yeah, that would be really pretty. So let's, um, let's get this, some glue on here. I'm going to just sit here and hold it. <laughs> Thread of yarn would be cute on the spool. Yes, Judy, you could put yarn around the spool and whatever color and embellish it with some bells or some ribbon. There's so much y'all could do with this. Um, you could make, make you a little tube of cardboard. It doesn't even have to be something solid. You would never know. Uh, corks, yes, Brenda says corks. I'm EM cards. Ah! You made these in wreaths. Oh, that's cool. All right, so hopefully it's there. Okay, so look, it's there. Look how cool this is. But you could glue some trim all the way around it if you wanted to. Like, I'm just, for example, I'm just showing you this because I, ha I happen to have some torn fabric sitting here. But just, just bear with me. If you had... I'm going to twist it. We'll twist it and make it smaller. And, well, that didn't work well good. But you could do this and go around your tree just like garland. I need more than one hand. Okay. Stop. And it would give it that, I'm trying to twist it at the same time. It would kind of give it a little shabby look. If you did it like, y'all know what I'm trying to say. I just can't get it right. Like this. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. But you could do so much to these trees. And how inexpensive with, is this? I mean, it's, it doesn't... Um, micro mini boxes wrapped like presents. Yeah, see, y'all's brains are turning. And that's what I love is because you're inspired and you're like, oh, you could do this and you could do this and I love it. Yes, Linda. Okay, thank you for saying that. Linda said pearls. So this was one of my thoughts too because I dug this out of my bin. You could take beads, little beads, and then you could just glue them here and there like ornaments. Like these are the beads that they had last year at Christmas at Walmart and I hope they put them out again this year because you know, they had so many last year. But you could just take them and glue them here and there um, even those little stickers, the little press stickers that they have that are the half pearls and put those on. Pom-poms, Brenda said. Um, but I gotta finish this one. This is our red one. That's, let's see, where's the back? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> okay. That's gonna be my front. Because, you know, there's always a bad side like that. It's just like it doesn't want to do right. Um... But I think I'm going to... So, see, look how cute this is. If you had... Um, I got a little spool, too. Ah, timber! That one's too small. We'll put him over here. We'll put him right here. So, see? Look how stinking cute this is. Um, nap and ring, napkin rings for the base. Anything round like that, you could totally do this. Um, miniature, look, Melody's like, get you some fairy lights and put on the tree. That would be so cute. But this is what I picture, okay? I have a long, uh, box made out of pallet wood that my husband made for me many years ago, um, when we first got married. And it goes down the center of my dining room table, and it's literally made out of pallet wood. And it's probably... It's a good two foot or more long. It goes in the center of the table. Um, can't you see, like, having all different sizes of these? Kind of like the bottle brush trees that people do. And having a whole bunch of these, like, in that box, all different sizes with moss all in the bottom of the box. And all these trees, that would be so, so pretty. Oh, look, y'all are up to Halloween ones. Oh, my goodness. Dawn, I have not, but you know, let's just see what would happen. Let's just see. I just got this part of this book left. So I'm gonna fold it. Let's see what, if I could do that. Fold it this way. 
somebody else that's on here might can help us, but I don't know. Okay, so you fold it this way, fold it down, and then you're gonna take that folded edge over and bring it to the spine like this. So if y'all missed it in the beginning, so there's what your tree is gonna be this, this wide. So let's see if I can fold it one more time. And you can, you can fold it one more time. Oh boy, I know what I'm gonna be doing. <laughs> so yeah, so then your tree would be even smaller. And because it's doubled, I don't know if you would need 30 or 60. So yes, you can fold it again and maybe make a pencil tree. Make, just made one, reminds me of a teepee and a campfire. <laughs> oh, I bet it doesn't. You put a star on that thing and it probably looks okay. So let's, and I do have some of this. This is called Glitterific. I don't know if y'all used it before. Um, we could put on the star, but everybody always says, let's do diamond dust. So I'm gonna put some diamond dust. Yeah, there are two sets of 30. So you, you do 30 pages and fold them, and then you do another set of 30. But then somebody said, why can't you just do 60? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> so we'll have to try. Flip a paper clip under the bottom. See, y'all are so smart. Yes, put a paper clip. Like this one's kind of wanting to stay open right there. So I need to put a paper clip under here to where it kind of holds it together and you'd never see the paper clip. Cut the side of your book. Look at Betty. Betty said, cut the side of the book. Cut the whole book like I cut it this way. Cut it this way. And your pages wouldn't be um, as wide. And then you could do a skinny tree. Uh-oh, I keep freezing up. So I'm going to put my tree down here. Because y'all always tell me to do some diamond dust. So I'm going to put some diamond dust on this star. And then i got to put a star on my red one and my silver one. Oh, okay. Everybody says I'm okay. Hello. Hey, Jackie. Okay. So, here's my diamond dust it's in a Dollar Tree little thing because I didn't want to pour out of the big container. There's that side of the... I don't know if y'all can see it. Some sticking up here or something. So I don't know if y'all can see the diamond dust. But you definitely could put Mod Podge on this and pour your diamond dust on it. And it would be beautiful, but yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm real leery about diamond dust just because I'll be the one to step on it and cut my foot. <laughs> um, put a dot of glue. Yeah, Debbie, I could do that. It's going to be so puffy. <laughs> it will be puffy if I fold it twice, those pages. Okay. Because even after I put diamond dust on something and then I go to move it or touch it, it comes off. But it is really pretty, for, especially for Christmas. Uh, definitely for Christmas. See how pretty? But it would be pretty if you had it here and there. Even on here, it would be beautiful. But you really can't see it until you, you know, because of this light. Um, let me get this piece of Mod Podge glue out of here. So hold on, I got to do something with this glass. Okay, it's over there, it's safe. <laughs> um, so I need to do something with this one though. Let's um, paint. Carol, I only use it on some things. I don't, I don't wanna use it on everything. Um, I just, that's just me. I'm not a, I'm not a big glittery person. I like bling, but I'm just not about a lot of glitter. The angels are the entire hymnal. Oh, wow. Okay. So, my star for my red one, but you could do anything you wanted to. You could, we could put some, oh, tearing up the whole, I got strings involved in my greenery, and I just pulled the whole thing apart. What in the world? Let go. Now, um, but you could put, we could put some greenery at the top. I, wonder, I just don't know how to, I got that other greenery. Let's see. I 
I haven't tried the Glitter Mod Podge. No, I have not. So, yes, I don't know. Um, I have this. I have this glitterific stuff, and it's really pretty, too. See, I'm trying to see if I could put, like, some greenery, greenery going, like, if I should do it going down the front, like this. Yes, I know I'm still alive, Tammy. I got you. <laughs> but you could definitely do some greenery like this going down. Um, yes, it the diamond dust can cut you. It is little bitty slivers of glass. So, yes. So, you have to be careful. You can't put anything on the kitchen. But see how that would be pretty with the berries? Um, coffee stain the pages. Carol, yes. I think I'm going to... I think I'm just going to go ahead and... Where's my front? Okay. I think I'm going to glue this stuff on here. Stay. Stay. Oh, Melvin, you can definitely come back and watch the replay as many times or as you want to. It'll be here. But you can definitely do that. Marlinda, yes. You could, I wonder, I'm trying to think of was wonder how we could double it, like, to make a tall one. Just, just thinking. I don't know. See, get the, that on there and just give it a, um, yeah, somebody's saying, you make the perfect angel, yes. I mean, I could still put the star there. I'm trying to, it's hard to hold these things, but, um, I like the greenery, though. I like the berries, too. But you could... Uh, I got out these, but I didn't know what I was going to do with them. Y'all know, when they start putting Christmas stuff out at Hobby Lobby, don't forget about the real fabric ribbons that they put on their gift bows, especially when they put it on sale. Where is... Oh, I could put... I could make a cute little bow... Oh, I gotta make the thing. So let's see. I can make a bow. <laughs> so y'all sell me awareness ribbon. Hold on. And do some more. Okay. Like that. That don't look half bad. Look at there. Make an awareness ribbon and squeeze it in the middle. Short sets of trees and stack them. Now that, that might would work. Baker's twine, yes, that would look really cute. I love me some Baker's twine. Okay, so there's my awareness ribbon bow. A lot of people did it in grade school. I didn't do it in grade school, I do know that. There's glue strings everywhere. I do know I didn't do it in grade school, but I don't know if Deidre taught me or I taught her. I don't even know, y'all. Isn't that terrible? But we did on one year. Ugh. Yes, you could put a long ribbon at the top and then have it flowing down. You sure could. Yeah, you just have to find a some kind of big book or a big... Uh, one of those big, gigantic colored books, maybe, that are tall. Oh, Marcia said the same thing I did. Big coloring books. To make a big, tall one. My little bow looks kind of pitiful, but y'all get the y'all get the gist of it. But you could put a bow at the top. Um, there's just so much we could sit here and just... Um, hey, Carmar from Alaska. I like the greenery, too. I think it just makes it look... A little different um but we got to do something to this so all i did earlier was put some i've lost all my paint turn these into carol carolers is that what you meant to say you could use the yes the full the uh cookie sheets from dollar tree and make stars yes you could definitely do that i thought about that today i thought oh i could cut them out of that, but then I remembered I had those wood ones. I'm just getting my little stain mixed up because I'm just gonna do this. Easy peasy. 
I feel like I'm, you know, the shoe polish, how you do shoe polish and it has that spongy thing on the end. Tumbling tower flower pot. Oh yeah, you could put them in the, um, make a little, little box to put them in. So this is all I did to this candlestick. I just did the brown. And I did it with a baby wipe though. I didn't even water it down. I just did it with the regular paint. My fingers are gonna be all brown again. Okay, so that's all, ooh, <laughs> that's all I did. And I'm like, ooh, there's some spots on that side. So I just wipe it and get it all covered and it dries fast. And then we're going to, Carmar, we made uh, trees, book trees. Look how pretty. See, look how cool this is. How cool is this gonna be sitting up on your mantle or your entryway table? People are gonna be like, oh, that's the coolest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> hey, Pamela, howdy. Um, I'm just gonna get some white. Just This is just regular white paint. Sherry, I don't know. I'm trying to think how we could stack them, how you could attach it, unless you put, um, I didn't even put any wax on it, but it's okay. Because I'm probably just going to do this. And then I'm going to get a white over here. And then we're just going to wipe some off. That way it won't look identical to that one. It'll look a little different. I forgot to rub the wax on there. Yes, berry garland, or you could glue little berries on it to make it look like little ornaments. Be really a cute. There's so much y'all could do, and I cannot wait for y'all to do them and put them in the group because I know y'all are going to knock it out of the park. Um, see, I'm just roughly just painting it on here, like shabby kind of, not even trying to cover it all up. But you can wipe some off. And see, then it just looks all um, just kind of rustic looking. And then we're going to glue it. Where's my water? And then we'll glue it. Yes, Tony, I'll show you in just a second again if you want me to. Oh, Dolores is going to Goodwill to get her some books. She's going to have... She's going to have a hundred Christmas trays on her table for the weekend. <laughs> oh, Linda, that would be cute. You could put burlap sacks for the base. Yes, that would be adorable. Cut the book shorter and use a dowel down the middle and you could stack them. See, that's what I'm thinking, Brenda. I'm thinking, let's see. These are like heavy duty bamboo sticks, but I'm thinking that if we would have put this in the middle or some kind of dowel, then you could put, do you see what I'm saying? You could put, glue that in the middle, and then this one in the middle, or you know, vice versa, the small on the top, and it would be, definitely be, you could do that. Like this, and we could stack them, and it would be, somehow, some way, we could do this. Um, oh, Mary, you couldn't find me, I'm so sorry. But you could, we could figure out a way to stack them. So somebody on here is gonna figure it out and then they're gonna post it in the group and we're all gonna be so happy. <laughs> hey, Becky. Um, let me find the front and get this. Let me do this. Now. <laughs> it looks like an umbrella. <laughs> And then, I mean, you can get, you can get all crafty with this if you want to, and you can totally cut the book, you know, like a tree and not fold the pages at all and then spiral it out and it'll look like a tree. Um, but I like the folding. I just think it looks cool. Thank you, Pamela. I gotta have some water. I just like the folding. Thank you, Emily. Okay, so here's my red. And then here's the green. So see, it's just that subtle 
that subtleness of color. And then this was the silver. I gotta find the front for it, cause you know, it's, this one's the one that's kinda wopsided. I don't know what happened, but something happened. But see, you can see the silver a little bit. It looks better in person. You just can't see it on the, on the TV, on the camera. <laughs> I think, kinda like the spool for that one. Or you could do, I like, I kind of like him. Then I got three sizes. But yeah, there's so, I'm just, my mind's just going 100 miles an hour. No, Glenda, I didn't do the whole book. I did, um, I did 30 page sections. This one's where I cut one off to make it uh, shorter. But you do 30 pages and you fold them and then you do another section of 30 pages and then you glue those together. But everybody was asking, oh, well, could you do um, 60 pages? I'm going to have to try that because I don't know. Where's my sponge? Oh, well. We'll just get another piece <laughs> from the car wash sponge. Um, these are perfect for this. I don't know why I didn't do this one at the same time I did the other one. Oh, you've always wanted to do this? Well, I'm glad you're learning because, like I said, Deidre and I did these a long time ago. And, you know, now I thought, well, this is the time I'm going to bring it back. And so I'm just wiping all my stain with this little piece of sponge. And then I don't know why... Look, I got red paint on it now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dana makes the cups. If that's where you y'all are asking about my little Rudolph cup. Isn't he cute? I had to get him out tonight because we were doing Christmas. Oh, and I just got red on my... <laughs> just keep going and wipe it off. <laughs> All right. And my white. Boop. I got so much stuff on this table. So then I'm just going to do, cut the top off the angled part. And then the second one. <gasps> Brenda, that's it. Brenda, you got it. That's it. We'll cut the point off so that the top one will have somewhere to sit down. <gasps> you go, you go. I'm going to be laying in the bed tonight trying to go to sleep and trying to figure out how to do these trees. <laughs> and stack them. Um, oh, it brings back memories. I'm so glad. That's so good. I, Like I said, I'm pulling this one from way on back and um, uh, I said, well, it might have seen Barb at the Shabby Tree do it or something because Barb has done everything, I think, and she likes trees, so I'm pretty sure she's probably done it, but like I said, me and Deidre did these a long, long time ago. And I don't even know what happened to mine. She probably has hers in her stuff, and I wish I had them. Um, so there, I just kind of brushed on the white just to make it look a little shabby. And now I got to get it glued on to here. Just a paperback book. I just, it's just a 25 cent paperback book that I got like at a thrift store or a state sale or somewhere. And that's what I used. Get it in the center. There and hold it. Yeah, you could glue a wood circle. That's a good point, Debbie. I probably needed a wood circle on this because there's not a lot to hold on to. But I'm not going to be... Um, because you would love to do this craft. The choir angels. Now, I have seen the choir angels. I have seen those. Um, okay. So, see? Look how stinging cute. But that's the silver one. I know y'all can't really see the silver. But... Um, I don't, this bow is not, I don't like this bow, but I do like the greenery, and I do like that, and then I've got this, let's see, so I'm going to finish this one, I don't know where my, hold on, let me get my gold, or the copper, or, no, that's not gold, where's my gold paint, hold on, I'm coming back, I'm coming back, where's my gold, where is the gold? I don't know where it is. <laughs> That's rose gold. Goodness. Where is it, y'all? 
It's not where it's supposed to be. It's not where it's supposed to be. <laughs> so we're going to improvise. I don't know where it is. Oh. But I do see some. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. This is folk art metallic gold. Pure gold is what it says. So let's do this. Take that paint on it. Okay. And I'm gonna paint, this is a little wood star from Dollar Tree. So be on the lookout for them when they put them out. They come in a little bag. They had different shapes. They had a little Christmas tree. They had all different little shapes. So that's kind of gold. Can't really see it good. The red is the, your favorite with the greenery. I kind of like the greenery too. I'm trying to think what kind of greenery I could put on this one. All right, so there's my gold. Y'all really can't see it. You can never find the candle holders. I, I'll tell you where I see the candle holders, the glass ones from Dollar Tree. I see them at Goodwill all the time. And now that Dollar Tree's $1.25, usually they're a dollar in, in Goodwill. So, but I hardly ever see them in, um, in uh, Dollar Tree, too. They're hard to find sometimes. Okay, so I got my little star. It's painted gold, and we're going to... A turquoise star. Oh, Jill, that would be cool with word search books. That would be really neat. Because those aren't many pages, and you could definitely, yeah, you could do that. That would look really good. And they'd probably be bigger. They'd be taller, maybe skinnier. I don't know. All right, so there's my gold star. And then I've got this extreme glitter, and it says gold on it. But it comes out, it comes out like, it looks like Mod Podge, but it has glitter in it. And then when it dries, you see the glitter. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. See, it looks like Mod Podge, but it has glitter in it. And it looks, where's the bottle? I just set it down. It's called Extreme Glitter. And this is the gold one. I know the holographic is really pretty too. But you could brush some of this down the tree as well. I don't know if I have silver. And paint my little star. But you could put diamond dust like I did on the first one. There's just so many ways to do this. I mean, it's just, so the possibilities are just endless. All right, see if I can get it dry. Spray the Reader's Digest. Wait, like spray painted, that would be good too. Oh, there's Tanya, Hummingbird Paintery. I didn't realize she was on here. You like the berries? I do too. Just a little piece of greenery I glued onto it. <laughs> Nothing special in this halfway homemade bow that I made. I don't know if y'all can see it now. See how the glitter's starting to show through a little bit when it's drying? <laughs> at my fingers, y'all. <laughs> you just finished your first and I just stick right now. Well, I got a head start because one of them was already made and then one of them was half made. So you're not that much ahead because uh, I had a little head start. Okay, so here is my gold star. Let's see, I wish I could put some, where's the front again? This is my wop, my wop-sided tree. I don't know if I like that, y'all. What about, I really want to use this greenery and the pine cones, but it's so big. That's my only thing. Like, see, it has snow on it too. So, I don't think this would look right. I think that's too big. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I got some more of this. I could put on it with some berries. Put two pages together. 36C. I'm reading what y'all, trying to read what y'all are saying. 
So I don't know if I should put the greenery and the berries on it again, like I did the other one. Cutting these little, it's got little green berries on here. I don't like in that. Maybe put a star on the red one. I know I'm not, I'm not too fond of this gold one. Maybe I should just do them all the same and, and diamond dust them. Um, ooh, it's sticking to me. Maybe I should just put this on here and put some berries like that one and then put a star on that one. Let's see. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Woo! Oh, this table is a hot mess. I know y'all y'all are amazing giving me all these ideas a bow with some bells yes Jane that would be pretty I haven't like fully broken out all the Christmas stuff yet hey Susie you've been crafting all day all right there's a little bit of greenery there stand up now and here's some more maybe I should just do like a couple of things of the berries instead of three. Pearls for the berries on the silver one. That would be pretty. I don't have any um, right here with me. Let me cut this little thing of a bob off. Everybody's favorite that is that one with the with the um, the grid with the greenery. Pom poms for yes, Kim. We could do pom poms or like beads and glue them to the tree. We were saying that earlier too. Yeah, I'll show you how it was folded. All right, I'll have to put something on that one. But look, it's just got like a little bit of greenery on it. That looks like a lamp, y'all. <laughs> it looks like a lamp. <laughs> just hit me just then I'm sorry <laughs> this one doesn't look like a lamp but this one looks like a lamp <laughs> sorry I just get tickled at myself <laughs> um don't it look like a lamp <laughs> maybe not down here but when I hold it up like that it looks like a lamp <laughs> is the wood items on sale I don't know but see I like the that star but it needs some something too you're gonna make me put berries on all of them hold on I really wanted to use that other greenery but now that I look at it, it just doesn't work for me hold on all right so I got some more of this greenery I think this was like Dollar Tree or something see how it has those little green berries on it look at that See that little green berry right there? I'm like, I don't know what that's supposed to be. But now I'm gonna have to put stars, rusty stars, yes. I don't have any. <laughs> he face planted over in the paint. <laughs> um, <laughs> I made you laugh. It looks like a lamp. <laughs> but down here, it doesn't look so bad. <laughs> cause this, yeah, cause the candlestick is kind of skinny like a lamp base. It just, when I held it up and I saw it, it just cracked me up. Yeah, I know, my little bow is wanting to fly away. There it went. <laughs> I may just have to put stars on all of them, like this one. All right, is this going to be the front or is that going to be the front? Okay, I think this is going to be the front. So I'm putting some greenery on this one. Since y'all like the greenery so much, we're going to put them on all of them. <laughs> the lamp <laughs> spool. Okay, just so y'all know, if you put that, that little skinny thing on there, it's going to look like a, a lamb. <laughs> you know, like that movie with a Christmas tree lamp and, the, yeah, I mean, the leg lamp. Oh, gosh, the glue strings. <laughs> that is funny, though. Okay. Oh, cedar trees have the green berries. Okay. It just looks funny on these little things. I don't know. It just looks really funny. All right. All right, lay down right here and go to sleep. 
I'm going to work on you just a second, okay? Work on you just a second. Take a little nap. Don't look like a lamp when I hold it up to the screen, okay? You got to look right. Nope. <laughs> See, that one doesn't look like a lamp, but that one does. <laughs> I won the major award. <laughs> yes, okay. So there's my granny. That looks pretty. I like the greenery on it now. Let me cut this little twig sticking up here off. <laughs> Y'all laughing at me. It is a lamp. I like it when funny stuff like that happens. I mean, I just did like this and I went, oh Lord, it's a lamp. Lampshade. <laughs> but now they all need stars. I don't like the gold star. I, that just didn't do anything for me. Oh, a Santa hat. That would be cute, too. Oh, my goodness. Terry lights on one and make it a lamp. <laughs> I could, Jean. I could light it up, couldn't I? Um, let's see. Put some. I got 900 paintbrushes over here. I know I can find one to paint this with. Fragile. <laughs> so I'm just painting it white, the little stars. So we gotta get them to match. Cause I think that that little bow over there, y'all know I'm not a bow person. That just wasn't working. I'm painting the edges and everything. I'm just painting it. Going to go find your paperbacks. That's right, I know y'all got some in your stash. Cause that's what I use when I do stuff. It's my paperback books or something. And you know, people will get upset cause you're tearing up books, but I'm repurposing them. And some books aren't worth reading anymore because they got pages missing or something like that. So you do stuff with them. I just got some for like a quarter at the thrift store. So I'm not throwing it in the garbage. I'm using it for something else. I posted a TikTok of folding the angel papers and boy, I got some folks on there that told me, I don't think so in the author, Nora Roberts, I think, I don't think she'd appreciate you tearing up her books and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, that book's paid for, she don't care. It looks like a swag. Yep. Let me get the other side. All right. I'm gonna dry this and then we'll put some diamond dust on it. <laughs> you bought three hardbacks because of me. 114 degrees. Y'all better stay cool out there in Arizona. Put a cord on the lamp. <laughs> yeah, put one of those little pull down strings on it. Like when you pull the light bulb and the light bulb comes off. I'm sorry. All right, dry that one. Woo. Let's get this one done real fast. I have some more paint. And then we're gonna put them on here. A doll leg. <laughs> Debbie, we could put a doll leg on it and make a little lamp. <laughs> oh my goodness. You have to have the fishnet pantyhose on though. <laughs> I like that movie. Most people in my family do not, but I do. I think it's so funny, but some people are like, oh my gosh, we gotta watch this. Yes, we do. The Christmas Story. Oh, Becky, you're gonna fold up your high school annuals and do this? Oh my goodness. All right, dry, dry, dry. That's right, once the book's bought, she got her money, so she don't care what we do with her book. Yeah, I got so many ugly comments about it, though. All right, let me get some more paper. Get my diamond dust and my Mod Podge out here. Yes, you gotta go get some books to make your trees. Let's see. All right, I'll put 
just a little so it'll dry. Probably just gonna do one side. All right, where's my diamond dust? Just a little. But you don't Mod Podge over it because then it won't shine anymore. You just do the Mod Podge it on. Let's see. It's real pretty. Okay. And then I'm going to put this over here to the side. And I'll do that when I get off. Put it back. I'll put it back into that. I just don't want to knock it over and that glass go flying everywhere because that's what would happen. <laughs> okay, so now let me turn it around where I can see what I'm doing. And I don't want to dry that with my heat gun either because I don't want to blow some of the diamond dust off. Let's see. So see, y'all helped me finish them because I, I kind of thought I had an idea of what I wanted to do, but I didn't. Pumpkins to make it round. You have to cut the whole book like to make it pumpkins. I might try to do pumpkins. Your grandson played Ralphie at the Christmas story at your civic center. Oh, I bet that was fun. Helping him practice and all that stuff. I bet that was really cool. All right, stay right there. I gotta reinforce somehow. I'll put some reinforcement back here. Now, see, look how cute it is. Okay, now for the lamp. <laughs> Maybe it won't look like a lamp once I get the star on. But these little stars are the perfect size. But you can make them out of the um, cookie sheets. You could definitely cut the cookie sheets out. You could even paint some brown on them, make them look rusty. All right, let me hold it on. Stay right there. Ta -da. That, that, that looks better, doesn't it? Now it has a top. <laughs> oh, Lori made a pumpkin last year. Post You need to post that in the group, Lori, so we can see the pumpkin. He was just now able to get on, Jane? Oh, my goodness. Look how cute. That kind of makes them look together, right? Like they belong together. Barbie leg and some vegetable fruit in it from the grocery store. Betty's got it figured out. She's gonna make the lamp, the leg lamp. <laughs> yes, I need to work on my pumpkin. Hey Barb, look, see how it's just subtly green. You can't really tell that, it, I mean, it's green, but it's just subtle. And then I did tone this down with some brown. And then this is the silver, even though y'all really can't see the silver. And there's, it's got spider webs too from the glue streaks. It's already for Halloween. It doesn't look like a lamp much anymore now. It looks better. But look how stinking cute. But you could do, you could tie ribbon around the bob down here and dress that up. Or like somebody said, if you use the spools, you could put paper around the spools or yarn a colored yarn or you could even dye you know stain these and make them different colors a witch hat yes jenny that would be a cute witch hat and then we could put it on something round that would look cool maybe i need to try that too i looked up the chicken okay bridget has looked up the chicken and that's all i can see right angle it looks like buffalo check oh it doesn't look like buffalo check so see, I think it's cool to have the three sizes, but you know, you could do a grouping on your like entryway table or something like that and have all these different size trees and different stands. That would be so pretty. I love the trees too. I need that reindeer cup. He's cute. Tina, Dana Merritt, my moderator, she made this last year. She, you message her, she can make you some stuff. But I'm glad y'all like my my trees, now they look like they're a set that I figured out, y'all helped me figure out how to fi finish them because y'all said y'all like the red one the best. So that helped me decide how to finish them. 
But yeah, just get get all kind of crafty with your with your tree stumps. You could use corks or you know go outside and get your husband to cut you some little pieces of tree or something. And you definitely could do that. You may have those um, from the Dollar Tree. This is what those are from. But you could put them under there, stack them and glue two together, and put those under there for your trunk or a cork or make you a cardboard tube and paint it, put paper on it, you'd never know. Those pumpkins from the Dollar Tree as the witch's hat. Pumpkins from the Dollar Tree. I'm trying to think of what pumpkin she's talking about. Wooden wagon, wooden wagon. That She didn't mean wagon, let's say as a tree base. Wooden, like slice. I know, Lino, you just, I, it's a long story, but they took them away from me like a year ago. So, long story, but it's okay. It's fine. Yeah, I've made the shim trees. Thank you, Karen. Yeah, you could, somebody asked about, and Tanya's answer about the wings. You could cut them from book pages and then just glue them in here in the sides. I might have to work on that too and then put like a wood um, a wood ball up here of some type. I don't know. Candy corn, Lynn, stop. Be white. Is it? I have to look this up every time. White, I think it's orange and then it's yellow. I, I, I honestly, when I paint candy corn, I have to look it up every single time because I can never remember. I know white's at the tip. But then it's either, I think it's orange and yellow, or is it yellow and orange? I don't know. But how cute would that be as candy corn? Oh, my goodness. Yes, Elaine, toilet paper tubes or either like uh, aluminum foil tubes when you finish the roll. Yep. Thank y'all. You love the tree. Thank you, Betty. I know. I love them, too. I think they're adorable. And I can't wait to see what y'all do because I know y'all are going to just go over the top with them and they're gonna look fabulous in the group and if you're not in the group it is um the turquoise valentine's crafters reveal and you can that's just my free community group with my page and you can post all your crafts and look at everybody else's crafts and ask questions if you need help with something stephanie yes um i've done them twice i've done them last christmas and the christmas before so if you can either look here or YouTube and they're either place, but um, the, yeah, there's two different videos I think for the shim trees. Look at my fingers. <laughs> um, yes, records, or we could cut out you could just cut out like foam board and paint it black. Popsicle sticks, yes, you could, Michelle, make a little box and make you like a little tree box and make it look rustic farmhouse. That would be cute too. Cut the wings. Oh, what about this? Hold on. Y'all know these boxes, the little drawers? You could totally put them, put them in this, and it would look like, a, you know, a, and put it in the box with some floral foam or something. That would be really cute, too. Get on it. Something. Okay. Yeah, thank you, Be Betty posted the group um, link, the page. That's the group right there that Betty posted. So you can go in the group, you can post your stuff, you can look at everybody else's crafts. Um, oh, Becky, we well, need to make some. Everybody's going to be making trees with books, inexpensive, and just use what you have. Use the cookie sheets for your stars, cut them out of cardboard, paint them. Nobody will ever know that they are cardboard. You've, I know you've got remnants of some kind of greenery of some kind. You don't even have to put greenery on them. Just do what you got. Use what you got. Yes, Keely. That's what everybody's saying to make an angel with wings. Oh, thank you, Karen. But I know in the group that y'all are going to make them way better than this. I just can't wait to see it. Um. So, Brenda. Yeah, Brenda, message me. I don't know what you're wanting. But just message me. Yellow, white, and brown. Yeah, that's the, the harvest candy corn right thank y'all all right guys well i'm gonna hop off i hope you enjoyed my lamp <laughs> and my trees <laughs> 
And so I hope that you give these a try because they are so much fun. Just to sit in front of the TV and fold the pages. I mean, it's so, so easy and just monotonous folding the pages. But look how cute it turns out. So stinking adorable. Let me hold it for my little picture. <laughs> So anyway, so thank y'all for being here. Um, thank y'all for showing up every time. I appreciate it. And all the chit chat back and forth. And I love it. I love chatting with all my friends. And I will see y'all Thursday. And we'll see what we can come up with Thursday. <laughs> so I'll see y'all then. Thank y'all for being here. I love y'all. Bye. Have a good week, Timber. <laughs>